guys welcome back to my channel welcome back on gara today i'm gonna introduce you to a little monkey um yes he is a monkey there's a difference between monkeys and apes and that is you have a tail or you don't have a tail this guy has a tail that's about this big but because he has a tail he is considered to be a monkey this guy they call an ape because he has no tail and they actually consider him to be a great ape because he could be huge, right? These guys can get up to 200 pounds. He's a great ape. There are lesser apes like gibbons that are much smaller. Um, I don't like the word lesser though, so I don't know. I guess we'll just call it a small ape. Anyway, <laughs> there's been a little bit of discussion. There's always going to be discussion between monkey and ape. Um, I've heard a lot of people say you can call any non-human primate a monkey if you want to. I want to, but I also wanted to give you the information so that you understood the difference. Um, there is another quote that I really liked, and they said that all apes are monkeys, but not all monkeys are apes, just like all humans are apes, but not all apes are human. I don't know. Any way you want to put it, if it's got a tail, it's a monkey. Huh. Yeah. So, anyway, we're going to introduce you to Chewbacca. The Japanese snow macaque. This is the kind of monkey that you see sitting in natural hot springs. It is the only monkey that can survive extreme cold. One theory is they sit in those natural hot springs to keep themselves warm, but there's another theory that is just stress relief, that they go in there and they just totally relax. Either way, it's an incredibly cool monkey, and the images of them sitting in those hot springs is spectacular. There's a lot of different kinds of macaques. They live throughout Asia, Africa, and Europe. Um, there's a crab-eating macaque that actually dives underwater and grabs crabs. There are some very cool macaques that you see jumping off of the Rock of Gibraltar. They literally look like they're just having a good time. Anyway, they seem to really enjoy water, so I'm going to show you this amazing macaque swimming. He's going to swim above water and below water, so we'll try to get images of both, and I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, you can hear good voice on here? This is Chewbacca, and he is a half-grown macaque. This is a Japanese snow macaque. These guys are the ones that you see in water, and they have snow on top of their heads. Brilliant little monkeys. They have learned to stay warm in Japan by getting into the hot springs. They have these huge cheek pouches. When he's full grown, he can fit a whole apple in there. He has his own little built-in pockets. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna get in the hot spring, get nice and hot, run out, find some amazing food, fill those cheek pouches up, and then enjoy it in the heat of the hot spring. Let's just see a little feet. Look at that funny little hand. That is a powerful little hand. Yeah. What about that funny foot? What oh, is a big foot? That's a big foot. It's bigger than my hand. What do you think, little Chewbacca? He has a white face right now. As they get older, most of them will end up with a red face. Huh. Yes. This little guy lives with Cody and Sugriva right now. Sugriva loves this little monkey. Yeah, it's like his little son. Hello. We have a group of older macaque monkeys that are actually rescue monkeys. They're 35 years old. They're able to live a very long time, up to 40. Huh, yeah. You're so powerful. <laughs> you ready to swim? Ready to swim? You want to swim on my back? You're cheating. I'm doing all the work. <laughs> you thought you got the way. Hello. Let's go for a swim.
liquid baby. as smart as a dog. Incredibly intelligent. These guys cause a lot of trouble though. I don't know if you've seen any of the videos of them in India attacking the fruit carts. They will steal anything they can. But they also are revered. A lovely day in paradise. I hope you guys enjoyed swimming with Chewbacca as much as I did. Um, he really is a lot of fun. We did get some good images, which I'm very happy about. Uh, I did not talk too much about him in the film. I did talk about them being pests, and they are considered pests in uh, Japan, but also in India. Um, I recently read that the macaque population in India is as high as 50 million. Um, it's about 100,000 in Japan. So there's a huge population in India, and there's a huge population of humans there too. Um, so the interaction between them can sometimes get volatile. But um, a lot of people actually think that the god Hanuman has actually taken the form of monkeys. So generally, even if they're being violent, even if they're slapping people on the street and stealing food directly out of their mouth, or even breaking into their homes, which does happen, the monkey generally is left alone. Um, maybe this is the reason for one of the population explosions. Uh, I don't know, but it is a crazy interaction that's happening with them. It is a funny monkey. Uh, but if you think about it, what if the pests in America were 10 times as smart as a dog? That would actually make our lives a lot harder, huh? I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like it, comment, and of course, subscribe below. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!